Imagine you wake up one day and you go onto your computer and you decide you want to find a new video game to play and you're not really sure what you want to play so you go online and you look at something trending on YouTube and you know it probably won't be trending considering that uh, we're, we're using bedwars and this hypothetical. Anyways you look at something that's trending and you see see a Hypixel bedwars video and you're like oh my god this game looks really fun I want to play it. You log on to Hypixel, you go on the server, you join bedwars uh, and you start playing the game, you're a one star with zero wins, zero kills, zero deaths, zero stats, and the first thing that happens, you start getting bow spammed with a literal machine gun in Bed Wars, and you can't do anything, and you get spawn killed for 50 minutes straight until the other person wins the game and then leaves and goes on with their lives. Would you want to play the game again? I'm assuming probably not. This is kind of the current state of Bedwars, and obviously I'm exaggerating a little bit, you know, it's not it's not actually this this bad every single game, but uh, this is kind of the direction we're headed if Hypixel doesn't start balancing their weekly rotational items. I think this is like one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in my entire life, and I've been playing on Hypixel for what, seven, seven years? Uh, I'm a huge fan of the server, I've been a fan for so long, I've always been critical of them when they made bad decisions. For example, when they decided not to update any of their games for two years, when it was at its most popular point in the entire world, and um, I've also been very understanding and appreciative of them when they've made good decisions, for example, updating the game very often for the last couple months and giving us good content in the game mode. With that being said, this video is going to be more critical because, well, these weekly rotations need some serious balancing, okay? Some of these items are so bad that they're completely useless and some of them are so powerful that they could literally come out of the screen and kill me in real life if they wanted to. I mean, this balancing makes absolutely no sense. Last week, we got a rotational item called the Machine Gun Bow, which was two emeralds. Two emeralds for a bow, by the way, should never happen. The punch bow is six emeralds, the power bow is 24, and the normal bow is 12. Excuse me, the power bow got buffed to 20. This machine gun bow is two emeralds. After two minutes of the game being played, right after you do your first rush, you can go straight to middle, get two emeralds, come back, get a bow, and you have unlimited arrows. Considering the fact that you also have a max generator very quickly into the game, you can literally get a stack of iron and 15 gold pretty much instantly now. Um, this is completely broken because once you get this bow you're never gonna run out of arrows if you have even decently good aim okay and now obviously I'm talking about this a little bit late I made a few videos on this trolling with the item because I think it's hilarious that Hypixel actually added this and thought it would be a good idea but now that the item is gone and they actually didn't nerf it I'm starting to get a little bit concerned because it's like okay this item was in the game it was funny because obviously it was broken overpowered and I did my videos on it like one or two days into the rotation but the entire week passed and they actually never nerf the item. They kind of just let it sit and uh, kind of spoil content and video games for an entire week. And now the sugar cookie is back, which is speed 3 and jump boost 4 for 15 seconds for one emerald, which completely makes potions useless. I know some people might disagree with me on this, but can we agree that this is like an overpowered item? Like, can we can we as a community like come together and actually accept the fact that these items shouldn't be this game-changing? I mean, yes, I understand that the meta needs to change sometimes for bedwars, but can we also accept the fact that these items sometimes should just be good items to use and not actually have the entire game revolve around them. I mean, once I got the machine gun bow and, 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 and like last week, every single game was easy. I mean, I had no issue playing it whatsoever. And obviously a lot of the people that like these items are coming from the perspective of players that actually understand how the game works already. I mean, these items help like good players more than anyone else because they already know how certain rotational items work. And not only that, but like literally half the fan base of Bed Wars never even thinks to look in the rotational item section because they don't know it exists. So what are we doing here? Like, are we trying to make the game balanced or are we just trying to create new metas for people that are all already having a great time playing the game destroying everyone else. I mean, are we gonna make this game more fair for new players or are we just gonna are we just gonna add machine gun bows? I mean what's next? Like a pearl that can TP you to any player you want to and instantly kill them? Like at what point do we draw the line between what's too overpowered and what's not good enough? This week's rotation is the sugar cookie, as I said, jump boost four and speed three for 15 seconds for one emerald, and the other item is a mega TNT, and the mega TNT is actually pretty balanced. 
it makes sense. It's a larger TNT, uh, it takes longer to blow up, um, it's more overpowered than normal TNT, and instead of four gold, it costs emeralds, and that's fine. But on the other hand, we have the sugar cookie, which first of all, has already been in rotation. Uh, we've already experienced this very overpowered item. People loved it last time, but now they hate it, which makes no sense. I think the community just needs to make up their mind. I think also the thing with the sugar cookie is that the first time it was overpowered and this was like the best item we'd ever gotten at this point past the sugarkins so people didn't know what to expect they liked this new meta this new game changing item and they thought it was cool and they thought it worked for a week because it was never going to come back you know people assumed that oh once this cookie leaves the rotation they'll never come back so it's okay that it's overpowered meta game changing but now we've realized that we're actually on a set number of rotations and eventually the sugar cookie will come back which also means that the machine gun bow will also probably come back at some point in the future. I mean, one week was bad enough. Can you imagine this machine gun bow coming back for another week and ruining the entire game? I just think that this rotational item thing is very game changing. I think it's a great idea that Hypixel is adding rotational items to Bedwars. I'm in full support of this because, first of all, it gives me more content. It gives people like Sammy Green more content. It's great for content, so I wouldn't be complaining about this if I didn't genuinely feel like it was a bad idea for the future of Bedwars. Bedwars is getting a massive update very soon, and they've just gotten a big update recently, so I think that Bedwars is headed in the right direction generally, but they do need to work on certain things that are ruining their game, and one of these things is the rotational items being way too unbalanced. I don't know, like, what is going through their head when they're adding stuff like machine gun bows. Like, I, I feel like they're there needs to be some sort of balance. Now, yes, I'm ranting and complaining about these new items for a very long time, so some people are going to be like, okay, Specular, if you think you're so smart, what would you change about the machine gun bow? Very simple, make it so that you can only shoot 16 arrows from this machine gun bow. Better yet, make it 16 emeralds and make it unlimited use. Find some way to balance it. For example, if you made this machine gun bow for emeralds and made it 16 shots and have it run out after that, it will be a completely fair and balanced item. For for example, this sugar cookie, make it speed 3 and jump boost 4, but you can't buy more than 3 of them in a round. Once again, more balanced, and obviously the cookie is still overpowered when you can only buy 3 considering that they last 15 seconds, and normal potions last 45, so it balances out. It's technically 3 emeralds for 45 seconds of speed 3 and jump boost 4, which by the way, if you guys don't know, normal speed potions and normal jump boost potions are also 45 seconds, it's just this time it's, it's you know, a little bit more overpowered. There needs to be some sort of cap or some sort of balance for these items because as it stands they don't work and I'm having a great time abusing players with these items but I'm not a new player imagine like trying to use these items as a new player and just getting absolutely bullied I mean I feel like the rotational items should bring more players to the game new players that might not be as good but want to have a fun time instead I feel like these rotational items are just going to push new players away if they're not balanced over time and I completely understand like them adding new items and not having them them be perfect. I mean, sometimes things need to be changed midway through, but if this happens, listen to the community's feedback and change it for the better. When the machine gun bow came out, everyone within the day knew that it was way too overpowered, and I even made a video on it that came out the next day saying that this item needed to be removed. Obviously, the video was funny, okay? I trolled Krama for like 35 minutes, and I killed him over and over. I racked up like 54 kills in the game, um, but at the end of the video and in the comments, I said that this item should be removed or it should be nerfed, and I expected them to nerf it within like two or three days, and keep in mind, these items are only in rotation for a week, so they were definitely on a time crunch nerfing this item, and they never did it. It's just concerning, because if something is really overpowered in the future, is it gonna be solved, or is it just gonna be left there? Like, like if Sharp 4 was added to the game tomorrow, would it stay for a week, even though the team can acknowledge that it's too overpowered? Anyway, sorry for this moist, critical, styled video, um, I just wanted to come on here and kind of ran for a little bit. I don't know if you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I kind of had a stronger opinion in this video. If you guys like this though, let me know in the comments. I don't really do videos like this, like voiceovers very often. So with that being said, if you made it to the end, comment your opinion on these rotational items being way too overpowered. Let me know how you guys feel about this because I, I, I kind of feel strongly about it. Um, and have a great day everyone. Peace out. Bye.